If a dog will not come to you after having looked you in the face, you should go home and examine your conscience. You are here in order to enable the world to live more amply, with greater vision, with a finer spirit of hope and achievement. You are here to enrich the world. Liberty has never come from the government. Liberty has always come from the subjects of the government. The history of government is a history of resistance. The history of liberty is the history of the limitation of government, not the increase of it. We want one class of persons to have a liberal education, and we want another class of persons, a very much larger class of necessity in every society, to forego the privilege of a liberal education and fit themselves to perform specific difficult manual tasks. The government, which was designed for the people, has got into the hands of the bosses and their employers the special interests. An invisible empire has been set up above the forms of democracy. A nation which does not remember what it was yesterday, does not know what it is today, nor what it is trying to do. We are trying to do a futile thing if we do not know where we came from or what we have been about. But the right is more precious than peace, and we shall fight for the things which we have always carried nearest our hearts. You devour a book meant to be read, not because you would fill yourself or have an anxious care to be nourished, but because it contains such stuff as it makes the mind hungry to look upon. If I am to speak 10 minutes, I need a week for preparation. If 15 minutes, three days. If half an hour, two days. If an hour, I am ready now. If a man is a fool, the best thing is to encourage him to advertise the fact by speaking. I would rather belong to a poor nation that was free than to a rich nation that had ceased to be in love with liberty. You know how impossible it is, in short, to have a free nation if it is a military nation and under military orders. There is a price which is too great to pay for peace, and that price can be put in one word. One cannot pay the price of self-respect. There is nothing that succeeds in life like boldness, provided you believe you are on the right side. Just what is it that America stands for? If she stands for one thing more than another, it is for the sovereignty of self-governing people. When men take up arms to set other men free, there is something sacred and holy in the warfare. Of course, like every other man of intelligence and education, I do believe in organic evolution. It surprises me that at this late date such questions should be raised. It is particularly true of constitutional government that its atmosphere is opinion. It does not remain fixed in any unchanging form but grows with the growth and is altered with the change of the nation's needs and purposes. We can have no sympathy with those who seek the power of government to advance their own personal interests or ambitions. There is more of a nation's politics to be got out of its poetry than out of all its systematic writers on public affairs and constitutions.